Salt production has remained a thriving business in Africa for centuries. It is a vital mineral with many uses, food, agriculture, and chemical manufacturing. Africa has large volumes of salt production and pure sodium chloride. One such salt company is Walvis Bay Salt Holdings Limited. Through its various subsidiaries, it is the largest producer of solar sea salt in sub-Saharan Africa. GBC News has visited the company in Namibia and shares some findings. Established in 1964, the Walvis Bay Salt Holdings Group is a Namibian registered company with three subsidiaries. They include Salt and Chemicals Limited, Welvis Bay Salt Refiners Limited, and Ekango Salt Refiners Limited. Salt and Chemicals operates the salt field and produces the raw salt, whilst Welvis Bay Salt Refiners further processes and markets the product internationally. Ekango Salt Refiners produces table salt for various markets. At Welvis Bay Salt Holdings Limited, the company processes 90 million cubic meters of seawater per annum to produce in excess of 900,000 tons of high quality salt per annum. The total operation covers an area of 500,000 hectares. The salt refiner site, which is located in Cusep River Delta at the southern end of the Welvis Bay Lagoon, exports the product. The second largest salt producing company in Africa after the first one in Morocco and it is the first in the Southern African salt producing company whereby we export uh, salt from here to different countries uh, such as European countries uh, whereby some of these European countries are using our salt to repair their roads or when it's snowy they put it uh, they use our salt to put it on the road to melt the ice. We also move salt or export salt from here to African countries whereby we move it by road or by truck and we move also more salt, uh, the, like the raw salt, we move also more of it to uh, South Africa uh, to the chemical company. In addition to producing salts for the chemical industry and other general purposes, the group also produces high quality table salt for the Southern Africa market. We have like a different type of salt here. The raw salt like we, the one we use for the repairing roads uh, and uh, a, a table salt for human consumption. And we have also salt for, you, for, for animals, like those big rocks that we put in our crawl for our animals to lick on. The Welvis Bay Salt Refiner's salt production process is based on the solar evaporation of seawater to produce 99.4% pure sodium chloride on dry mass basis. We actually pump water from the ocean uh, into the uh, salt ponds and uh, whereby it takes like 9 to 15 months to dry and we harvest or we mine the salt and after the mi mining the salt or harvesting the salt we bring it into our uh, factory whereby where the whole process is taking place like to be puri to purify, to clean and cleaning it, and then to distribute it uh, to different others. Uh, the color is just in a microorganism uh, that we call Dunalina salina. But when it dries, it dries into pure white salt, so but not into pink. And it is the same uh, bacteria that is being eaten by the lesser flamingo. That's why you see them; they are a little bit pinkish in color because they are vegetarian. On the back of continuous improvement, the company is looking forward to maintaining momentum with regards to future growth and environmentally responsible way. Salt, it's very, uh, it's a healthy thing. It's needed everywhere. So if you have guys having an opportunity to produce any, please do it at a very big scale. Looking at the salt uh, industry, uh, a real potential for African industry. And I'm going to say this widely that I still don't see the reason why Nigeria will buy salt from Brazil and not buy salt from Namibia. Certainly for us in Namibia to showcase what we can offer, particularly with regards to salt. Uh, salt is a highly traded commodity and one that can be exported to the rest of the continent under the continental free trade area. Well, this Bay Salt Holdings Limited 
is focused on optimizing the logistics value chain, including finding the right freight options that can open up new markets.